Hi guys, I'm Marcel, back with The Pulse. Um, I've got an update on the NMN situation concerning the FDA and concerning the supply chain. Things have taken quite a dramatic turn over the past few days. Yesterday there was a story on the Natural Products Insider spelling out how uh, suppliers had now been demanding shipments be paid in full in advance. Now this is gonna put a squeeze on the smaller companies that just don't have the resources. There are some brands out there that mostly just sell NMN, some smaller brands, and we're seeing the pinch on those brands uh, take place probably faster than they're going to take place at the places like Pro Health Longevity and Do Not Age, which have a wider supplement uh, selection. Uh, matter of fact, Do Not Age just started offering NMN in a holiday bundle, so they're selling it with other supplements in a, in a starter bundle that you can send to, as a gift to people. So they're still stocked well up on NMN. However, However, the squeeze is going to take place and already has. We're seeing it almost sold out now on Amazon and Walmart. Now, those are not places I recommend buying NMN from. There are many reasons for this. Amazon has a history of selling fake NMNs, although I didn't notice some of those brands up there when I checked last. So they may be trying to avoid the ire of the FDA by sort of perpetuating the fake supplement thing. We'll see how that plays out. But right now we're seeing the legitimate brands running out. Now, if I'm a brand selling NMN right now, and the sales of NMN, by the way, are up at two to three times their levels. And this is coming right from CEOs of multiple companies. So NMN sales are very robust. Are you going to want to send what NMN you have through a channel like Amazon and pay 15% referral fee? Probably not. So some of this may be just due to the pressures. Some of them may be due to uh, selling out. These numbers are, are growing, which I'll talk more about in a minute. Um, but also likely, manufacturers are just saying, well, I'd rather just sell direct right now because we don't have to pay that, you know, that high fee with Amazon. I don't recommend buying NMN from Amazon, like I said, uh, partly because even if you buy a good brand, it's going to have a long, it's going to be on the shelf longer. Now it's got to go from one to another. Some brands do their own fulfillment, but why go through that extra layer of complexity when you could just order directly from a Do Not Age or a Pro Health Longevity? Do Not Age doesn't even sell through those outlets. They're a health research organization. So so they're primarily focused on doing research and they fund the research with the sale of their supplements, but then they in turn send supplements off to researchers uh, across the country. Now, if the pinch is going on an NMN, and now you're going to be faced with the choice, oh, do we send this NMN to these clinical trials in the U.S. somewhere, or do we send them to the customers? It begins to become a tougher decision. So we're, again, we're going to have to see how that plays out as well. Now, some of the pressures are due to the supply side. So the supply side is saying, okay, we're not going to put all our investment into NMN because they also, these are companies that make other things. They supply, in most cases, other supplements or other pharmaceutical drugs in some cases as well. So why should they invest their money on in NMN, which is somewhat sketchy at the moment because it's an unknown. We don't know what the, the FDA is going to ultimately do do here, that's going to cause, you know, unless you're placing a large order with payment up front, that's going to cause uh, supply side issues. Now, on the delivery side, you've got the holiday sales. You've got the panic buying taking place because of the news from the FDA. So you've got a two to three fold increase of NMN sales. The pipeline is shrinking. That's what we're seeing, and we're seeing it play out before our eyes. And it's going to be really interesting to see how this all shakes out. Now, I got a year supply of NMN. I'm not saying you guys should go panic and get it, but don't be surprised if in a month or two, you know, your favorite NMN reseller is saying, okay, you've got to wait now four to six weeks. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised at all if we see that in a month or two, uh, maybe even sooner. Now, there's another issue playing out here. Besides, you know, let's, let's turn our focus for a moment to the FDA's decision to uh, say that NMN can no longer be sold as a dietary supplement or marketed as such because Microbiotech, a startup biotech company, had submitted the paperwork to claim NMN or MIB-626 as a drug. Now, part of that is contingent on this 
Pharmaceutical would be pharmaceutical entering human clinical trials for various diseases. Recently, David Sinclair made public statements saying that it was getting very difficult to fund these human clinical trials for biotech companies because of the economic situation. Uh, but I want to also talk about what I see, the, the, the problems, the pitfalls that we face as a field um, and a community. Now, one of the, the major issues is currently is the economy. We have a real, if not a recession, a, a, a loss of funding for our biotech, no matter what happens, um, no matter what we call it. It's, it's, it's getting pretty tough to, to get money for very early stage biotechs. And there's still a bit, a bit of money around. But uh, those companies that are, mid, that are mid-stage, that are heading to the clinic or even in the clinic na- now, it's very expensive, of course. Each trial is tens of millions of dollars. My concern is that what what sparked uh, over the last five years, and there's, there's dozens of aging or uh, longevity companies out there, is that we're going to lose some of them. Uh, we may lose as many as half of them if the economy doesn't pick up in the next two years and the stock market does better. Because these companies need to tap the public markets for the most part to be able to continue operations uh, when they go big time into phase two and certainly phase three. So is what's going on here that microbiotech is not even going to be able to fulfill their human clinical trial obligation, which was part of their submission? And now you have the FDA becoming full and well aware that you're shutting down a $100 million industry during tough economic times right now. And is it $100 million? Is it 200 Is it 300 with the recent sales growth? They've actually fueled their own problem because they're attacking the public interests in this dietary supplement sector to protect a startup pharmaceutical company that may not be able to even fund their own human clinical trials. This is getting very, very, very weird and interesting and a little bit scary, as one NMN brand put it, Uh, in that same article from Natural Products Insider. Where I see this going is I still believe we're going to stay in limbo state. I think NMN will receive the precedent of NAC ultimately because I don't think in a politically charged environment where most of the public is sided against the drug industry that the FDA is literally going to stick their necks out there even further and say, okay, no, we're going to start shutting companies down that sell NMN. Um, It's a popular supplement. It's growing in popularity, partly because of their own letters. And I think where they're going to realize quickly, and they've probably been informed of this uh, informally, uh, that they're going to end up being litigated against. There is a large enough industry. The supplement industry is large enough to fund litigation against the FDA. So whether that's going to happen or not, I can just imagine, based on the conversations I have had so far, that that is in play and that the FDA has been made aware that that is the intention of the dietary supplement lobby groups and consumer advocacy groups that represent these interests. I think they're going to end up in court over this. And even worse, Congressional hearings are going to take place because there's, there are major pushes at play to reform the FDA and their way that they oversee supplements. So you've got the public interest, you've got the legal uh, ramifications and questions, and now you've got a brand new Congress. And who is Congress going to side with right now with so much anti-drug company sentiment out there? Only 38% of people approving of drug companies 90, in my own poll, 94% of you voted to ban television advertising for prescription drugs. I think the FDA has ultimately created a real hornet's nest, and they're only making it worse. And they may not know what to do other than status quo, stay in limbo, enforcement discretion. That's not going to help the smaller companies. That's not going to help the supply side economics of this. Um But it would be better to still be able to get NMN, even if you may have to wait a little bit longer than not get it at all. I wish you guys the best with all this. I'll continue to pass on whatever I find out as quickly as I can. See you soon.